what would you have said to him now, knowing what happened in the years after? Would you have done anything differently and spoken to him? I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to talk to him. You wouldn't want to talk to him. No. Okay. Because my feelings would be too strong, and I couldn't. Okay. But very liberal Jewish. I mean, liberal Jewish. But yeah. what was life like as a, te a Jewish teenager in Munich during the sort of mid thirties? Yeah. Well, in my school. Um, People were, on the whole, decent, uh, and my my class my classmates were decent too. Uh, could tell you of one incident where, in the English lesson, uh, the English teacher was Doctor So and So, that excellent English. Um, I propose nothing at all. Said suddenly, of course, we we Germans face our God as free men. While the Jews roll in the dust before theirs, didn't say anything. And I was pause afterwards. We went out in the corridor, and suddenly I heard him call me, and he said, uh, "Look, Frank, I didn't know you were Jewish. I never ask whether anybody's Jewish or not, but the Jews, Jewish girls or not, because I'm not interested." Uh, so I said, "Well, how do you know I'm Jewish?" He said, two of your classmates came out and told me and said, "I'd better perhaps not make such remarks." So I said, but I professor, why did you make this remark? You don't believe it yourself, do you? So he said, you must go with your times. And that is the key uh, sentiment, you know, where thousands joined, or joined the party. Uh, did you have any children? No, we haven't. No children? I met him when I was 40 or something. OK, OK. So you've got uh, cousins and nieces and nephews and that sort of thing. Sorry? What, what family have you got now? You said you had some family in Bristol. Um, no, it's only only Max and my husband's ah, family. Max. I haven't got oh my my niece is yeah my niece is here yeah and um, then I've got a nephew in Exeter. Okay, okay. Um, and then briefly to go back to the apartment in Munich. Yeah. I read on the the Bristol Post article you did on that interview. You said there was lots of rumours about Hitler's apartment about what people thought had happened in there? Yes, well, that was, you know, the cook, and they said, oh, the, this, we saw a coffin being carried out of of the entrance, and the, and there were rumours that, uh, I think a niece of Hitler's was living there, and that she died, and speculation of how she died and why she died. And, and I think there was, there was truth in it. The, the coffin was carried out, and it was a woman, but, um, of course, no confirmation ever. Did you have to be very careful about those rumours, considering yeah, the yeah. time of...? Yeah, well, at that time you couldn't talk openly. Well, the, we had a, a wonderful cook who was, was elderly, and she was very Catholic and very anti-Hitler. And um, once she went out and she went to the dairy, and she saw a photograph of Hitler hanging on the wall, and she said, yes, she should be hanged on scoundrel, but not like this. And my father always said, Mariana, you'll get us all into a concentration camp. Because it was like that. Wonderful woman. Amazing, amazing. OK, I mean, I think, I think that's enough for us. That's very interesting. Thanks. Is that all? Yeah, I think so. I don't want to keep you for too long.